everyone. I hope you had a nice coffee break. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy to share the models and learning session for you today. My name is Harry Oosthuis. I'm an assistant professor from the Radboud University in the Netherlands. Um, and our first speaker is going to be Amit Livne, who will talk about Bruce bundle recommendation using contextualized item embeddings. Thanks. Can you see my slide yet? Okay. So just want to make sure that this is working. Like no. Need to point it out somewhere. Yeah, but it's not like it's not working. Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Amit Livne. I'm a PhD student from Ben Gurion University, Israel, and today I'm going to present to you the paper on Bruce, bundle recommendation using contextual items embeddings. So let's start with introduction by breaking down the paper's name. First, let's understand what is bundle. Bundle basically is a set of items that purchase together, like a combo meal, for example, a Coke, fries, and a burger. And bundle recommendation is recommending bundles uh, to a user based on its preferences or the history uh, of interactions. Bundle could be beneficial for both the users and the sellers. The bundle uh, is beneficial for the users because it enjoys the lowest rates and also a lower shipping cost. And on the other hand, the sellers enjoy some fixed operational cost and high revenue, and also is ex increasing the exposure of some, uh, of some items that the user might not have been considered individually. So in this paper, we aim to solve the ranking problem. So basically, it's uh, recommending for a given user uh, you a predefined set of bundles, and then rank them according to the likelihood that the user will interact with them. So it's a top-k recommendation problem. And as for the, uh, the other part of the title, contextual items embedding, don't be misleading, it's not con context features. So uh, we aim to represent an item contextual representation within the bundle. So this means that some, some items uh, will have different relationship within the other items in a bundle. Let's consider, for example, uh, the gaming domain. So this is one of our data set, the Steam data set. Some data sets will be sequential gaming, for example, uh, the Witcher 1, 2, and 3, and some other, uh, some other bundles will consist of the same genre, for example, fantasy genre, and then uh, you can find some bundles that consist of uh, the Witcher 1, but it would be with Avatar. And we want to uh, somehow leverage this interconnection between the different items of the bundle. So, in order to do so, we adapt some NLP techniques. We say that bundles are very similar to a sentence. This is some kind of analogy that we are doing. Bundle to a sentence is similar like item to a, to a word. And um, then what we want to do is say that set of items is very similar to set of words. This is pretty straightforward. But there are also some differences as well. Uh, while well, considering a sentence, we have some kind of an order, right? We have grammar. But in the bundle, we don't necessarily have an order. And in our case, we do not have any order at all. And also, we want to integrate the user information because we don't just want to generalize some recommendation that will be general to, to all. We want, to, we want the, the recommendation to be personalized for the user. So we need to integrate this information as well. So in order to do so, uh, we use transformers. Transformers are a NLP state-of-the-art component that have been used in the recent five years. They are excellent in uh, learning the relationship between different words in a sentence. and uh, Due to the ability of the transformers, we are learning the representation out of its context from the sentence. So basically, we can do the same for the bundles and learn the representation of items in the surrounding context within a bundle. 
So our contribution in, in these papers are as follows. We are considering different relationships between items in a bundle. We are using transformers to represent these contextual uh, bundles, these contextual embeddings. And we suggest different architecture and different uh, aggregation method and talk about it furthermore in the paper. And we experiment over three different data sets and improve the state of the art. So as for the related work, I won't go over all of this in details, but some of the, some of the work have tried to, to do some collaborating filtering approach, and some of them try to do some neural network uh, in order to uh, solve this bundle ranking problem. And usually, most of the time, either by applying some kind of weighted average on top of the items, or the other way around, uh, think about the bundle as a whole one unit, and then integrate the user information for a recommendation. But none of them use a transformer to do so. Our methodology is, is, is building upon four steps. The first one would be a pre-trained user and item embedding. And usually, the main problem is that users do not interact that much with bundles, but they do interact a lot with items. So we, we want to, uh, to leverage this, and therefore we are training a BPR model on the user item level. And uh, in our case, we are training the BPR and then use this pre-trained, uh, this, uh, this uh, representation as a pre-trained embedding to, to our model. Next is the bundle representation. So basically, transformers help us to learn some contextual uh, representation between uh, the different items within a bundle. But also, we need to remember that one of the characteristics of the transformer is that it has the uh, positional encoding. So because, as I said before, we do not have any order in the bundle, so we omit the part of the bundle of the, bundle, uh, of the positional encoding in the transformer. As for the user information, there are two ways in order to integrate the user information, an early fusion and a late fusion. In an early fusion, we can think about it that the user will want to interact with a specific item within the bundle, and this is the motivation why he wanted to interact with this specific bundle. Maybe it has some lower price uh, or something like this, and then we need to somehow aggregate it in order to understand the preferences towards the whole bundle. Or the other way around, think about it like the user has some preferences toward this specific bundle as a whole unit and then model this as the preferences. So as for the early fusion, we suggest two different techniques, two different architecture. The first one would be concat. In concat architecture, we are concatenating the user towards each one of the items and then pass them into the transformer. So basically, we are learning, the transformer will be able to learn a user item interaction, interaction between each one of the user item pairs, and then uh, represent some uh, contextual embedding of user item pairs. On the other way, we can learn some user token, uh, we suggest user token architecture, and in this way, we are integrating the user as an additional artificial item to the bundle, which passed to the transformer, and then, uh, we can just use the output of the user classification token as the representation of the bundle, which is similar to what has been suggested in the BERT paper. As for the late fusion, we suggest another architecture. We can just model all the bundle as one unit and then, uh, and then aggregate it into some one representation. I will talk about the aggregation in, in, in the next slide also. And um, upon the representation of the bundle, we are concatenating the user pre-trained embedding. So uh, in this representation, we are learning the bundle uh, as a first step and then concatenating the user afterwards. So overall, these are the three different techniques that we are suggesting, three different architectures. You can see the different uh, uh, manipulation that we are doing with the user all over. Okay, as for the um, aggregation technique, as we can see that we are suggesting uh, to do some aggregation on top of these bundles uh, on the purple square that we've just saw before. So there are several ways to do the disaggregation. The most trivial way would be just to average the, the, the representation of the items, right? So this is uh, one way to do so. It, it's, we don't need to learn any parameters in order to do so, so it can be beneficial in that manner. 
The, other, the second way that we are suggesting is the global classification token, which basically we are, we are using, we are adding one global classification token similar to what have been done in BERT. Uh, the bundle classification aggregation, and in that manner, we are adding an additional bundle uh, representation, a bundle classification token for each one of the bundles, and then we are increasing the um, degrees of freedom uh, for each one of the bundles. And uh, user classification aggregation, which is basically means that we are using the user token aggregation, as I just mentioned before. So we experiment on three different data sets, uh, Steam, Yushu, and Netis, which are very in their domain, but also in their statistics uh, information and, and characteristics as well. We can see that the Steam is the smallest and the net is each the largest, and some of them have more bundles than the other, and the average size of the bundle may vary between them, also the average, median, and number of interaction as well. And uh, as for the experimental settings, we use the same trend validation test as the same uh, uh, state of the art. They, we all use the same data set with the same, with the same separation. And uh, we extend the, the accuracy matrices uses in, used in the previous studies. So we are using recall, NDCG, MAP, and MRR. For the baseline, we use popularity, BPR, DAM, which is a, a create a weighted average of items towards the bundle recommendation with a deep neural network, and BGCN, which is the graph convolution neural network that utilizes the connection between the bundle and the, the bundle user and the item. As for the result, these are the results for the Steam dataset. We can see that overall across all, all the old matrices, we can see a very high differences, and the results are on average 36% improvement over all matrices. But most important thing in this improvement is that when k equals 5, which is much more difficult task than improving a recall at 20 or 40, we get tremendous differences. And this is also the same trend we can see in bigger data set like in usual, in 23% on average between all matrices and 25% on is across all, uh, all matrices as well. And we elaborate more details about this specific which architecture uh, gets which results in the paper, so I invite you all to, to read this as well. And just to conclude, uh, we suggest a new transformer-based approach for uh, solving, for addressing the ranking problem for bundle recommendation. And we used BPR embedding and found that it would be very useful to improve the accuracy of the model. Uh, we use both early fusion and late fusion to try to understand which one gets better the uh, potential preferences of the user and found out that early fusion is performing better than the late fusion. And this paper suggests several different architecture and technique for aggregation. And uh, I suggest that you, you can all read it in, in the paper for full details. Thank you all for listening, and uh, if you have any questions. Let's thank the speaker. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a lot of questions coming in. We won't yeah. be able to address them all. I, I will uh, address him after what's online. That would be done. great. Uh, so the first question uh, that was asked was, how do you make sure user and item representations are embedded to the same space to use a user token as the first element of the item sequence? So I think in the architecture where you use the, the user as the first mm -hmm. token, how do you make sure that they are aligned with the items? Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, regardless of all, all the technical details, uh, our, our code is published uh, in the paper, so uh, you can find the repo over there. And um, basically what we can do, it's, uh, in technical level, we, we can separate and like, uh, mark the specific token differently and then afterwards use this specific token. But a specific technical question you can find, and find out in the repo, and afterwards, if anyone has this specific question, I can answer it uh, one by one. Like okay. talk, talk with sp the specific uh, person. OK, sure. Yeah. Um, another question is, uh, how does inference work? Do you need to have a prepared set of bundle candidates? Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, so the problem formulation was that, like, all these data sets are uh, with predefined set of bundle, 
So uh, yes, uh, a bundle needs to be pre predefined. But as for the next uh, stage, we can also uh, utilize transformer for uh, example, generate some new bundles also, and then try to, to solve this. But this wasn't the uh, main focus of this paper, but yeah. You have an interesting direction for future yeah, work. Interesting. Great. Um, another question. So uh, sometimes the same item might appear in different bundles. Mm -hmm. Have you explored what happens here, the effect it might have on accuracy or diversity? Uh, yeah, so uh, item appears several times in different bundles, that, that's for sure. And uh, we didn't measure any, anything like beyond accuracy matrices like coverage, diversity, and so this is, uh, wasn't part of the scope of this paper. Uh, but we can see that we are not only um, improving the popularity items because popularity was one of the baselines. So if we were only if we were succeeding only uh, to predict the popular items, probably we get around the same results of the popularity. So we have mm -hmm. some coverage, and we increase the accuracy for other items as well, for sure. But we didn't like check it out with specific graphs or, or so. I see. It's uh, and I, I guess another interesting direction, yeah. sort of. What does diversity mean when when the That's items right. are multiple uh, items? Great. Let's thank the speaker uh, once more. Thank you. And then.